In this example, we're going to do square root inverses. The opposite of square rooting is squaring, or to the second power. So when we get down to that step to remove the house, we're simply going to do the opposite of square rooting, which is squaring. The first thing we want to do is take our equation and put it into the calculator. We're going to go new graphs. We're going to type in our equation, 2 plus the square root of x plus 5. We need to pull up some data from the table. We're going to do Control-T if you're using the handheld. If you're using the Inspire app, which I'm using, it's under Menu Table. And then what we want to do is we want to fill out the missing y values in the table that we have here. So we're going to start at negative 5. So the value of negative 5, let me go back, I'm sorry. So negative 5 was 2, negative 4 was 3. So 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Now we need negative 1. The value of negative 1 is 4. Negative 1 was 4. The x value of 4, which is down here, is 5. Okay. Let's take those data points and plot them on our graph. Now, before we do that, let's draw our line of reflection here. Our line of reflection is the y equals x. It's the diagonal line that's right here. That's close enough. Now we're ready to plot our points. Negative 5, 2. Negative 4, 3. Negative 1, 4. Then over 4 and up 5. And this guy just kind of shoots to the right. Now when we do our reflection, we should have something over in this area here that looks like that. To get our inverse, we are simply going to take the data from the original table and we are going to switch the positions of x and y. So if we look right here, instead of doing negative 5, 2, let's switch those. Let's do 2, negative 5. Switch. We have 3, negative 4, 4, negative 1, and then 5, 4. Let's change our color here. We are going to plot our inverse coordinates here. Go over 2 and down 5. Over 3, down 4. Over 4, down 1. And over 5, up 4. And so we see that it goes like this. And it's okay if they overlap across that line. So we see our reflection there across the line, y equals x. Now let's find the inverse equation using the paper method. So step one is to take the equation and write it in terms of y equals. So we'll say y equals 2 plus the square root of x plus 5. So that's step one. Step two, switch out x and y very similarly like we did in the table, except we're using variables instead of numbers. So step two, we're going to say x equals 2 plus the square root of y plus 5. The goal is to get the house by itself. The house is the square root. Let's get the house by itself. Let's solve for y. Going to subtract 2 on both sides. It gives me x minus 2 on the left equals the square root of y plus 5. Again, the square root symbol, that's my house. We said earlier, we've established that the opposite of square rooting is to the second power. To get rid of the square root, we are going to square both sides square both sides. That gives me x minus 2 squared equals, and if you look on the right-hand side, the reason why we're squaring, doing opposites, is because the little 2 gets rid of the house, and it leaves us with y plus 5. We need to get y by itself, so we will subtract 5 on both sides. And when you subtract 5 on the left, 
You're not putting anything new in the house. The house is closed. So that minus five goes on the outside, and this would be our inverse equation.